The Berenstain Bears and the Bad Habit by Stan and Jan Berenstain. When cubs start to twitch or to scratch or to nibble, what they need is some help, not a lecture or quibble. Today we are going to tell the story of the Berenstain Bears and the Bad Habit. You can read along with me in this story. You know it's time to turn the page when you hear this sound. Let's begin now. Sister Bear, who lived her, with her mama, papa, and brother in the big tree house down a sunny trail road deep in bear country, had been going to school for quite a while. First, there had been nursery school, which was pure fun. Playing with dolls and blocks, rolling clay snakes, and scribbling with crayons. Next, next, had come kindergarten. That was fun, too. They were marching games and rhythm band. She also learned a lot of numbers in kindergarten and most of the alphabet. Now, sister was in first grade. Regular school was different. It was still fun and she liked teacher Jean very much, but it wasn't all fun. There was quite a lot of work, spelling, number problems, all kinds of things. In regular school, you have to concentrate. And sometimes when you concentrate, you form from little nervous habits. That's what happened to some of the cubs in Teacher Jane's class. Lizzie twirled her fur. Twirl, twirl, twirl. Freddy scratched his head. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Norman sucked his thumb. Suck, suck, suck. And sister nibbled her nails. Nibble, 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 nibble. Before she knew it, she had nibbled them down to nubbins. In fact, she nibbled them down so far that some of her fingers were getting sore. <laughs> oh dear, said Mama, Mama, to, Mama Bear to sister when the cubs got home from school one day. You've nibbled nibbled your nails down to nubbins. In fact, you've nibbled them clean off. How did it happen? I'm not exactly sure, Mama, Sister said, but some of them are getting sore. Hmm, said Mama. Well, here's what we'll do. We'll put a little medicine on the sore ones and, and bits of adhesive tape, tape on all of them. That will remind you not to nibble, nibble, and we'll give them a chance to grow back. The bits of tape helped, helped sister remember not to nibble, but they also got in the way when she tried to do certain things. It's very hard to hold a, hold a pencil with tape all over your fingertips, or tune a TV, or scratch when you have an itch. And when sister tried to play jacks, she couldn't get any higher than twosies. But worst of all, the bits of tape told the whole world that Sister Bear was a nail biter. The next morning when sister lined up for school, Lizzie Brewing and some others began pointing and teasing. Sister nibbles her nails, sister nibbles her nails. It didn't take sister long to decide to so pull off those bits of tape. <clears throat> and without the tape, she forgot to remember not to nibble. She forgot during school. She forgot on the bus. She even forgot as she and brother climbed off the bus. You're going to have to cut that out, sis, said brother, or you'll get to be a regular full-time nail biter. 
I'm afraid your brother's right, said Mama, who is organizing the wheelbarrow for some garden work. I don't mean to nag, but nail biting is a very difficult habit to break. Habit? Asked Sister, making fists that, that so her nubby nibbled off the nails when show. What's a habit? That's a good question, said Mama. Come along, when all. Well, I, well, I plant into these tulip bulbs. Grizzly Grant sent over, it and we'll talk about it. A habit. Fit, fit. Mama says she pushed the wheelbarrow along on the well-worn path. It's something you do some so often you don't even have to think about it. Habits are a very important part of our lives, and most. Of them are good, like brushing your teeth and combing your fur when you get up in the morning, and looking both ways before you cross the road. But some habits aren't so good, like nail biting. Asked sister, "You would like to have your have your nice nails grow back, wouldn't you?" Was Mama's answer. "Oh yes," said sister. "But I keep forgetting. Why is it so hard to remember?" Well, so Mama, and sort of, sort of like this path. I wheeled it, this barrel over it so many times that that it's worn, worn a deep rut right down the middle, and it keeps getting deeper every time I use it. Why, it's so deep now that I can't get out of it without a little help. That's the way it is with a bad habit. The more you use it, the harder it is to get out of it. Here, this is where I want to plant the tub, plant the bulbs. What about my nail biting habit? Asked Sister as she helped him out of the deep rut. How am I going to get out of it? <laughs> yeah, you just need a little help. That's all. So, Mama, let's plant. Grant's tulips while I think about it, and then later I'll talk to your papa. He may have some ideas. I could read the the riot act to her," suggested Papa. "You know, nail biting is an outrageous, disgraceful habit, and if you don't stop it immediately, dear me, no," said Mama. "Nail biting is kind of an..." Of nervous habit and shouting and threatening her, threatening will make her just, will make, will just make her more nervous. I suppose so," said Mama thoughtfully. I mean, Papa thoughtfully. Perhaps some sort of world word would help. A bit of money, let's say a dime, for every day she doesn't buy her nails. Before Mama could answer, Sister Bear, who had been nervously nibbling in the next room, popped in and said, "A dime, ten cent, ten whole cents every day just for not buying my nails." That's right," until said Papa. Until the habit's broken, I'll never nibble again," she says. As she thought of all those lovely dimes she was going to get. But the way it turned out, she didn't get a single, single dime. All she got was scourged. A day is a long time, and habits are powerful, especially bad habits. Even with the, even with the promise of dimes, sister couldn't remember not to nibble. Mama and Papa got discouraged too. Oh well," sighed Mama. "Life goes on. I must call Gran and thank her for the tulip bulbs." Oh, you're very welcome, my dear," said Gran when Mama when Mama called. "And how's it? Is everything at your house? Is it? Is that so? You know, I was a nail biter when I was cub, and my Mama helped me to stop." What have you tried so far? Um, uh huh. 
Well, I think you're on the right track with the dime. But instead of a dime, instead of giving giving it to her at the end of the day. What an interesting idea, said Mom as she listened to wise old Grizzly Grin. So they tried Grand's idea. Instead of a dime at the end of, the, of each day, they, they gave Sister ten pennies, one for each nail. nail. At the beginning of each day, ten pennies to keep, unless she nibbled. And with those pennies in her pocket, jiggling when she got on the school bus, jingling when she jumped roped in the school yard, just wait, waiting to be remembered when some nail decided it needed to, needed a nibble. The plan worked! Not perfectly. It's hard to break a habit. And Sister had to give some, to give back, back some of those pennies. But in ten days, she had 93 pennies! And even better, she had ten fine fingernails. Great for pinking things up, tuning the TV, and scratching itches. And the next time when she, next time she played jacks, she got all the way to tensies. Phew, said Papa Bear. Bear. I'm glad that's over. Yes, indeed, agreed Mama, breathing a great sigh of relief. That's when, when Brother Bear looked at his fingernails and piped up. You know, I think I, st I, think I might start, buy start buying my nails. I could use the money. I certainly hope you're joking, roared Papa. Because if you're not, I'm joking. I'm joking, interrupted Brother. And he was... Sort of.